First Sarah Dorothy, uh, we are at the Hamlin Center, which is part of the Surgical Innovation Center, which is a, a joint platform between the NHS and Imperial College at, at the St. Mary's campus. What we do here is very interesting. It actually transfers the whole four floors of the Surgical Innovation Center, starting at the beginning with new discovery, uh, mostly in devices and robotics and new technologies, which is what the Hamlin Center does, all the way up through education and training, which is our second floor, which is the Rothschild uh, Training Center, and finally the operating theater, where we're really translating that innovation into patient care. We do many other things in this building, including engagement of industry, but more importantly, engagement of our patients and the public. This building was funded jointly with the NHS Trust, in addition to the very generous contribution of the Wilson Foundation and also the Hamlin Trust, which really allowed us to redevelop this whole site into this translational research center. It also houses a number of other centers, including the Diagnostic Evidence Cooperative, uh, which is an NIHR grant, and also uh, the NIHR Center for Quality and Safety. So we're looking not just at the education and training and the effectiveness of devices, but also the safety in the application of these devices in surgery. So my name is Daniel Leff. I'm one of the lecturers uh, in the Hamlin Centre. And here in the Neuroergonomic and Perception Laboratory, we're taking a very unique perspective on patient safety by understanding the brain function of the surgeons. And we're particularly doing that to understand the way in which we learn surgery, from the perspective of the way the brain is changing and evolving as we become more experienced. We're also using the technology to understand fatigue, to be able to better understand the limitations on the way in which we can work as surgeons. We're using the technology to understand the new robotic tools that are being developed in the Hamlin Centre, which is particularly exciting as it will hopefully allow us to understand the optimal way to perform surgery. I'm Philip Pratt. I'm one of the research fellows here at the centre. I'm actually an engineer. Um, I work on several projects. Um, they mainly to do with image guidance and augmented reality during surgery. A couple of the projects we're working on at the moment um, are to do with using pre-operative imaging um, for guidance and also intraoperative imaging, for example, um, intracorporeal ultrasound. Um, we do that to give the surgeon the best appreciation of the anatomy and the pathology within the body. My name is Colin Bicknell, I'm one of the senior lecturers and consultant vascular surgeons. This is our simulated endovascular training suite, where we're taking whole teams and placing them in an immersive environment where they can train not only in the technical skills, but also in the team skills required to carry out safe operations on our vascular patients. This is a fantastic environment in which our academics and clinicians are working in for all sorts of reasons. Primarily, most of the scientists find it extremely attractive to recognize or translate the challenges facing us as clinicians in clinical practice and taking these ideas into the research labs. But at the same time, the close proximity between the second floor where research, the basic science research is done and the fourth floor where the operating theater is done, many of our technologies go straight up very quickly and translated into patient benefit.